project day in the RV. I found so many amazing projects for Doug to install. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are going to be doing a bunch of work in the bathroom, basically. That's it, right? Just the bathroom. The lock. Oh yeah. So we have, we got Latchet. On Prime Day, it was amazing. Yeah. So we're going to be able to use, if you don't know what Latchet is, it's the keyless RV entry. There you go. You can use a, a code or it comes with a key fob also. You don't realize how nice it is to have something like that until you live in an RV full time and <laughs> have groceries in both hands. You need to walk up steps and get the door open somehow. So <laughs> we're excited for that. Um, we're going to be tiling around the sink in the bathroom. Got some peel and stick tile. Yeah, not fancy tile, but it's just going to change the look up a little bit. And we're removing our shower... Glass door. Yeah, the glass door that came with it. Uh, we had always toyed with the, this idea, and we figure we we're going to try it. Um, we're going to put one of those adjustable shower curtain bars. So it, like, is real wide at the top. Yeah. It gives you more room. It, yeah, you have the choice of going straight across, having it concave in or concave out, and you can adjust it on the fly. Uh, so yeah. we feel like a lot of people switch to the what are those like the squeegee doors yeah the sliding door which it definitely looks like it's nice for when the doors open yeah. like it's roomier in the bathroom then because the glass isn't in the way but we want room while we're showering so uh this will expand the width of our shower by at least and a few inches easier to clean because cleaning the glass sucks and yeah. the tracks and the, the... Yeah, we were surprised how dirty the tracks for the glass get. Yeah, and, and it's not easy to clean, so... Yeah. So, we'll, we'll test it out. I, I'm most worried about the curtain sticking out so far that it wants to come out of the, the shower base. And water will get everywhere, so we might have to figure out something like Velcro or something for that, but... I think it'll be okay. Yeah. We'll see. So, let's get started. Yay! Okay, so we're going to start with the shower door first. Um, we tried to set a GoPro up in here so you can get a different angle. We'll see how it works. But um, I don't know how to do this. Haven't Googled it, haven't YouTubed it. We're just going to go for it. <clears throat> There's screws all over this thing, so that's fairly common sense, I think. And I'm just realizing that a lot of them are not Phillips head. I forget the name of the bit, but it's a, a square bit. So I'm going to have to grab that. But there are screws inside the track on both sides. Can you show me? Yeah, sure. So there's, I think, three inside the track as you go down. And there's also some on the back side connecting the top. I'm going to try to connect this top, disconnect the top first so we can get the glass out. I would think we're not going to necessarily trash this right away at least. So I'm going to try to take care of it in case there's something behind here we don't realize we want to keep the glass. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Well, we're off to a great start. Doug can't find the right bit and he is not happy. Did you find it? Yeah. Only took me 20 minutes. But. But I guarantee you this will not be the only delay today. <laughs> and it's just the fun of RV life. <sighs> okay. Are you recording? So, funny moment number one. These screws, the three that are in here, are all the square screws. <laughs> of course, the first two that I want to do in the back are Phillips head. <laughs> so let me change out the drill bits and we'll get back to it. There is a lot of caulking around this, too. That's not going the way I wanted it to. Ooh. There's one. We got it here. There's two. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. The glass is connected to the top. I should have looked at that. They're on rollers. Of course they are. So, well, is it going to fall apart? I don't think so. Here we go. Oh, that's heavy though. Oh, okay. That's heavy. Be prepared. I'm a little concerned I don't see screws holding the base in. Oh, it's so dirty. But we'll see. The other thing is there's a lot of caulking I might have to cut. Peter. Thank you. I'm interested to see. I'm surprised at the if the shower walls are even connected. Why did you just use this? Um, the screws held this in the wall. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you're right. It's a lot of talking. It's a lot of talking. Oh, so there are screws on the bottom. Are they in the trash? They're connecting. Like, oh. You might take these screws a little bit more. Now we just got to scrub and clean it because it's a little dirty and remove the excess caulk. Silicone, whatever. <laughs> Thanks YouTube. This was harder than we thought. When you don't have a putty knife, you use a butter knife. All right, so this is what we got on Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. Comes in three pieces. And uh, I'm hoping, I mean, it's, it's heavy duty. This is like metal. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit of weight on these screws. I'm hoping there was some kind of stud where they drilled in the original um, shower frame. door, the door frame. So if there's a stud in there, we're going to keep it in line with it and be fine. But uh, we'll see. Okay, so I put it together already. I'm going to do it with the screws facing upward. It just makes sense to me because aesthetically you're going to see less screw. And in movement, it's not going to unscrew downward and fall out. Also, I put it all together as opposed to putting it up in pieces. I probably could have done it in pieces, but this way, at least as I'm mounting it, like I can feel to make sure it moves freely like it's supposed to. Because if you cockeye this one way just a little too much, it's not going to move freely. And I assume that'd be a problem. Um, we did feel around in there. You can The walls are so soft, you can feel when there's firmness behind it. And there's definitely like a stud on both sides right at the edge of the shower panel. So. Uh, hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> so now I'm stripping the screw. So oh, I need more leverage. It's definitely metal I'm drilling into, and these are not self-tapping screws. So, what are we gonna do? I have to drill pilot holes. So you see how 
I don't know if you can focus on that. Yeah. Yeah. The tips are worn down now. So it's not a self-tapping screw. When you go into metal, uh, this is meant for like wood. Um, it'll grind the tip down into the metal. So I have to use a drill bit to pre-drill a hole so this tip can get into the hole and then it can catch. Do you have the stuff for that? Yeah, probably buried in that same spot I had to go earlier. The good thing um, is being metal, this thing's gonna be super secure, so. So we can like hang from it and? Probably we can do pull-ups on it, I would think. Okay. Not cool. really. <laughs> it still looks way cleaner than that nasty metal that was catching all the dirt. <laughs> okay, so I had to switch to the drill instead of the impact driver. That's the bit we're using. I honestly don't know the technical way to choose the size of this. I just always try to make it a little bit smaller than the screw. So the screw has something to bite into. So. I wonder if that's gonna go through the back of the RV. You think? Maybe. I don't want to go too far. See, it got through the initial part. I would think to go out the other side, but that might be right where the skin of the RV is. So one hopefully will be enough. Oh yeah. That sound is good. That means it's hitting into something. Alright, you gonna do the first pull up on it or? No, I think, uh, I don't think I want to risk it. Look how wide that's gonna be. If we can get the shower curtain to stay inside the shower, this is gonna be great. We'll find out right now. I'll be able to do dumping jacks. I got all of this on Amazon. I like to use a white shower liner on the inside so that you can just throw it in the washer with some bleach and it comes clean every time. And then I got these double-sided hooks so I can have two curtains. A decorative one and one that can be bleached. Okay, we got our curtain up. It's extended fully. It's so much room. <laughs> I mean, I can put my back to the wall and reach Here. fully out. Yeah, we'll see if you can. Probably can't grasp it, right? Not with, I mean, the GoPro would probably be better for it. Look at all this room. I don't know if you can grasp it, but it's a lot. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so this is our latch that we just got. Um, there's multiple models. We wanted this one because it's the keys and there's it comes with two, two fo uh, key fobs. Um, this is made to fit most RVs, but make sure it fits yours before you buy it. Uh, this looks exactly like ours does from the outside and inside so i'm pretty confident um, so far the only thing i've done that you haven't seen is this compartment holds the batteries i put four AA batteries in there i read the instructions and it says um, if you have to replace the batteries you will not lose the um, programming for your key fob so that's good and i didn't realize which i should have it makes sense uh, <clears throat> that it comes with two keys. So if the battery does die, you're not locked. Okay. All right, so I think a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory. I said, oh, it's wet in there. Gross. That's it. <laughs> you just got a styrofoam door.
So you record, you remove the four back screws. Okay, now that's just like what we have here. So this came with it, I assumed I used it, but it's slightly bigger than the latchet. It didn't make sense. Uh, I've read in the instructions, that's if you have an oversized hole and it's necessary, which we do not, if it's perfect. So. All right, we're good. It's on there snug. Beautiful. So it looks like it's one of these. Okay, it said the beep would confirm that it worked. You just want to make sure it's not really touching anything in there. All right. So this is kind of a, something I can't do by myself. All right, we'll be back. Okay, we got one in. Don't want to over tighten any one of them. All right. Why is that like that? Oh, geez. So we had to mess with it for a minute. Um, because we didn't realize there's a mechanism inside there where the door is, the handle itself. It has to go inside another like lever to catch the actual door mechanism. So you have to play with it before you get it on there. Our door has trouble shutting sometimes and I'm starting to see. I wonder if it's this weather stripping. Yeah. The deadbolt works. Deadbolt works. Okay. Handles all work. That's shutting better. I was than gonna I feel say the like. door shuts better than it used to. Okay, that was better. Try to open it. It's locked. Okay. Oh, okay. Now we're moving on to these decorative tiles. Kaylee got them on Amazon. And they were, I think, $50 for a two-pack. This is a two-pack. It's 12 pieces, so like 12 square feet. Um, we got something similar in our house, a subway tile. Uh, I think it was a little cheaper than that at the time. Um, they're not fancy. They're not real thick. It's not real tile. It's definitely laminate. Um, but it, it really brightens it up, and it'll definitely hold up while driving more than I would be worried with tile. Like I'd be thinking tile, it's so rigid it could break or something. I may be wrong, but I think this is gonna work great. And it's great because you don't need any tools. If you can measure and you can cut with scissors, as the weed eaters going next door, it works. So we'll see. So this is the area we're gonna tile all the way around here. Okay. So depending on how we film this video, this is either our first or second attempt at tiling the bathroom. 
we have some laminate tiles that we want to put around the sink and uh, the first attempt didn't go so well so take two <laughs> we're gonna see how it goes today okay so in order to do this right it makes it much easier to have some sort of straight edge cutting tool um, <clears throat> We used a, a heavier duty paper cutter at home because this tile is thicker than just straight paper, but we're hoping this is gonna work just for the few tiles we'll need to cut today. This, uh, you don't have to do it this way. You could do it with scissors, but you're gonna get a much more professional, better, <clears throat> you're gonna get a much more professional, better look out of doing it with a straight edge for sure. Okay, so this is the extent of the prep work I've done. I loosened all the screws so I can get behind everything when it comes to putting the tiles on. That way we can have a clean finish. The only problem with the GFCI is it looks like this cover is put on before the outlet is, which makes it so you can't take the cover off without removing the outlet unless I'm missing something. But um, I think I'll be able to work around it. So there we are. There's our blank canvas. We'll see how it goes. Okay, this is where we are so far. It was difficult to get in and around here. I had to make some odd cuts, but it's looking all right. I'm wondering if we want to caulk these corners to make it give it a little more finished look. Maybe we'll do that after the fact. Get in there. There we go. I ended up doing some caulking. I think it cleaned up that back corner a bit came out all right I like it hello hi so we're gonna close out this video with a three-month update yes it's three months later since we put all this together oh, and wow. uh, we thought you'd like to know how it all worked out yep so as far as the tile we love it it's holding up great I think it makes it look homey and I don't know I like it <laughs> okay the shower curtain has been amazing. We love it. We wouldn't change anything. It's cleaner. You don't have to clean the glass. Yeah, you the, just throw the curtains in the... That whole section looks and is kept much cleaner. Yes. And actually, we can show them this. Since we lost um, the rack that we had hung up on the shower... Is that how you say it? Yeah, we had like a, a holder hanging for from like the glass shampoo. but i got this on amazon and it hooks on up here to the little hooks and it holds like a ton of stuff so that's what we use yeah works great yeah we love it as for the latchet we absolutely love it uh a hundred percent you should get one it's not even just for being lazy not wanting to use a key it's the little things like when your wife and you are both walking to the car either of you can lock the door or either can unlock the door you don't have to have the keys it's just awesome the only downside that we've experienced so far is that the key fob stopped working both of them we tried to reset them and re remarry them to the lock it wouldn't work so now we have to reach out to latch it and see if they're willing to fix it or explain to us what we need to do uh, we'll update you later how that goes but Overall, I still think it's worth getting them, even if you don't want the key fob. So that's it for the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested in any of the stuff we have or used in the video, go over to thebaldyinthebun.com and go to our gear page. Everything will be listed. And if you click on it, it helps out the channel from Amazon. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.